Well, I mean, when I hear GM foods, I think obviously of genetically modified foods. So I imagine scientists in a lab who are working to actively modify the genes using new technology, not just using sort of hybridization and breeding, but actively modifying genes. And clearly, I think that there are a lot of potential consequences. I mean, some of those are negative. I've read about environmental effects and things like the effect on monarch butterflies and ecosystems, how those are really unproven. But I also think there are a lot of potential benefits related to more drought resistant crops, crops that with much higher yields, crops that work well with certain fertilizers. So I think there's a lot of potential and I'm hopeful overall. Um, personally, I would prefer um, eating and buying um, um, vegetables or food that has been organically produced. Why though? Um, because I think that's healthier and also um, more, um, how can I say, environmental friendly. And it just seems more natural. Um, however, I can can see why um, GM food is, um, I guess, useful even like at times more um, has certain advantages. However, I really think that you should uh, label it so that people can make their own choices. And I do know that people make the argument that you know GM food could end the hunger in the world because um, you can produce so much more of it. Um, however, however, living in, in I mean developed countries, you don't really need GM food to um, because you produce so much anyway. So um, for me, that's why for me, I think um, I would prefer um, and I would um, yeah buying organically grown food. You know, my first response is I really don't have a problem with GM foods. Mm -hmm. um, I do have a problem with genetic engineering and, and taking it too far, but as it pertains to foods, I think it's more helpful than it is harmful. So, you know, if you can provide, if you're talking about developing countries, you can, if you can provide substantial amounts of food that they need through genetic engineering, I think that's wonderful. But even here in the United States, if we have genetically modified foods, I wouldn't have a problem eating them. Um, yeah, I think they should label it. I think people should be aware of it and mm. they should have the choice whether they want to eat mm. um, GM food or not. It doesn't surprise me but I, because I'm up on the subject, but if you went to the grocery store and you asked anyone whether they eat genetically modified foods, they would say absolutely not. Right. They do not eat genetically modified foods. And if you looked in their basket, they would probably have organically grown or, um, you know, grass-fed beef and all that. And then they'd have corn and they'd have no idea that half of what they were buying was genetically modified. So for me, I'm not surprised. And it, it doesn't bother me, which is still a funny thing because, like I said, for genetically modifying humans, mm -hmm. I have a problem. But I think there's more harm there than there is good. But as far as the foods, I think there's more good and there is harm so I don't have a problem with it all and I probably eat you know 90% of my diet is probably right. genetically modified. <laughs> yeah. Well you know I, I think they should label. I, I do think they should label because like I said if you go into a store and ask it you just some you know person shopping there they have no idea what they're eating mm. and I think everyone has the right to know and to choose. If I knew from the beginning and I could have make a choice mm -hmm. and I would not buy it. But then again, it depends, to be honest, how much more um, expensive the organic growth food is. If it's like in relation to, um, I mean, if, if the trade off is not too big, then I would prefer the organic food. But if it's like, mm -hmm. if the price is exorbitant, I would go for the GM food. Okay. Well. Seeing that I'm not terribly opposed to, like, animal slaughter, I guess it all just depends on how it tastes, mm -hmm. and maybe price, and I guess if it really had proven health benefits, you know, to feed, like, my family per se, then, you know, I guess I would be inclined, but I don't know, like, I think probably I don't know enough about which would be yet, I would not buy it, um, but if I... I did my research and 
it's comfortable eating something that's not something that is grown and tested and not naturally done. Possibly. <laughs> what would you want to know about it? I guess um, how when you say it's grown and tested, you want to know more about that process. Um, what what maybe what kinds of tissues are used? What you know embryos? Would I be the first one in line to eat? in vitro meat? Probably not. I would honestly wait yeah. <laughs> to see what others felt about it because I had no problem myself eating meat from natural sources. Yeah. Um, so I, again, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Um, but at this point, I think it's kind of strange. And I understand that organizations like PETA are very supportive of it because of the you know animal rights in slaughterhouses and all that and that's true so um, but again what that's going to do is that's going to put a lot of farmers out of business mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so there's going to be a backlash from it and it's going to be an economic backlash and that could be a very dangerous thing to maybe not Rhode Island but definitely the Midwest and, and 